of about eight months, artificial coal was produced. The rapidity with which coal can form when steam interacts with wood under pressure leads us to ask, can steam or hot water also produce the rapid transformation of organic matter to oil? An article, Water, Water, Everywhere, published in the February 20, 1993 issue of Science News answers this question. Researchers at Exxon discovered water acted an essential part in the formation of oil. Efforts to synthesize oil met with failure until very hot water was added to the reactor vessel containing the source rock sample. When this was done, a layer of oil was found on top of the water at the end of the experiment. This result proves there is an alternate path to the production of oil in the earth with superheated water playing a major role. The article indicated this discovery could wreak havoc with established ideas about oil formation. Actually, however, other natural events are already wreaking havoc with conventional theories. Incredibly enough, certain researchers, one at Oregon State University, have published reports showing evidence of present-day oil formation in the Guayamas Basin in the Gulf of California. Right now, in the Gulf of California, below 6,000 feet of water, is an accumulation of organic sediments derived from marine algae and other organic sources. Below this, superheated water is being pushed up by deep heat source through these sediments. Oil is being formed in the interaction of organic sediments with superheated water. This hydrothermal oil from the Guayamas Basin is virtually indistinguishable from crude oils obtained from wells drilled in the earth. The implications of this discovery can hardly be overestimated. The possibility must be entertained that the genesis of the reservoir crude oils abundant throughout the world may be explained by hydrothermal processes similar to what's happening in the Guayamas Basin. But, instead of an open dispersion of oil directly into the seawater, a closed system could easily be visualized where a reservoir of crude could be collected. It is conceivable that a worldwide flood was instrumental in the production of the tremendous oil reserves of the Middle East and elsewhere. The vast amounts of vegetation buried by such a flood mixed with superheated water similar to that detected in the Guayamas Basin could produce oil in the volumes we see today. Depending on the burial conditions, the organic matter would be transformed to either oil or coal. Is there a model of Earth history incorporating these features? One which allows the formation of the world's large oil and coal reserves over a much